We are working on a project that will need, as one of the parts, uh, it will need a flange on a glass cylinder roughly 10 centimeters in diameter. And now we need to decide whether we will outsource this part or we will make it ourselves. I would rather try to make it ourselves because it expands the capabilities of what we are able to do and it's just another uh, technique which we've never done in the past and we might learn it and use it in the future. Uh, so we decided we will try it and uh, we cannot spend too much time on the tooling so we made just a couple of very simple tools and uh, we studied the available videos on the internet especially the video by Kevin T. Ford was useful and all this should be enough for us to make an attempt to make very crude flange on the glass. No, teď pomalu to teda udělá. No, to bude. To bude pro viditelné. Tak to bude dobré. No, to budeme se dělat jako.
So the experiment went quite well. I'm now confident that we are able to make beautiful and functional flange on the glass. Uh, we still need to make a better tooling, but uh, it will be possible. I'm surprised about behavior of the glass because I was expecting that once this edge gets mounted, it will try to collapse inwards while it was actually expanding outwards right away. So this is, this is quite surprising for me and it will just make the work on the flange easier. Last week we made progress also on the project of the glass relay. Uh, we were working on uh, the jig for holding the glass while making the T-joint. And the aspects that we needed to improve were uh, the tension in the, in the clamps. So the glass is now held at place at, uh, with much bigger tension. Next, as you saw in the last video, we didn't have the uh, clamp in the center with the axis of the lathe. So this is now improved, it's perfectly in center and makes uh, symmetrical joints. Uh, and uh, the last thing, we improved the way how air is distributed uh, when you're blowing into the tube. Zacválnilo s tou trufou, tady nezavazilo, ale takže takhle, když to mám plně do konce. To je dobré. Ale jinak je to, no v tom přípravku takhle. Černé vidíte, takže musím projet ještě jednou. Není jako z kraju, no. bude asi takhle, jak to. Dobré, to je dobré. Z toho moc naletěl ten opár, tak...
Ale ne, to jako, no, člověk to zakřikne, že ne? Tyjo, vidíte to? In the last video I mentioned that I'm looking for a way how to brace the internal parts together. Uh, I got a lot of comments and a uh, few emails regarding this topic which is great. Uh, one of the emails was from Charles who witnessed the manufacturing in iMac in the US and uh, he suggested that uh, in the original tube uh, they used pure copper, oxygen free high conductivity copper for brazing this. So uh, this is one of the options. Uh, I think copper has quite high melting point so it would be better if we can have something with lower melting point to make the seal easier. And one of the possibilities is alloy of copper and silver. So this is what I ordered. We should receive it in around three or four weeks. So then I will be able to, to test it. What we need to improve in the next attempts will be to uh, change the shape of the bubble because the bubble in the T-joint is not, is not spherical, it's more like a squeezed into nerve shape. So we plan to make a graphite tool which will shape this section 